Hello there, this is Welsh ASMR 82. Hey, how are you doing? So, we are going to have a look exclusively at Australia today. We're going to have a little explore around Australia on Google Maps as part of this ASMR video to help you relax. So sit back, headphones in, you can watch the screen if you want to, or just turn it over and close your eyes. And uh, if you enjoy the video and you're not asleep, <laughs> then uh, maybe click like for me and drop a comment as well. Okay, um, I feel like I don't know enough about Australia, so I'm going to go straight to Sydney. Although it's not the capital, it is probably the most famous famous city, I think. Sydney, capital of New South Wales. Being a Welshman, of course, I do love the, the thought of there being a new <laughs> South Wales. I live in South Wales, in Britain. And one of Australia's largest cities is best known for its harbour front Sydney Opera House, of course. Iconic with a distinctive sail-like design. Massive Darling Harbour and the smaller circular quay port are hubs of waterside life, with the arched harbour bridge and esteemed Royal Botanic Garden nearby. Sydney's Towers outdoor platform, the Skywalk, offers 360 degree views of the city and suburbs. You should check it out. So, I mean, apart from being f featured on Finding Nemo, <laughs> um, it is probably one of the most iconic uh, places in the world, I think. That's right up I knew about it as a child, um, probably around the same time as I knew about the Statue of Liberty, to be honest. I didn't know where Australia was, I actually thought it was in Europe when I was a child. Forgive me. My grandparents were offered the chance to emigrate to Australia for a pound, one, one British pound, and they would have been put on a boat and taken out to Australia back when they wanted Brits to go and move out there. So my mother wasn't born at that point, so I might have been Australian in another life. My grandmother says that she regrets not moving. So that's the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Oh, that's nice. You can imagine having a nice lunch there. My mother has been to Sydney, actually. She went um, about five years ago. She said it was absolutely amazing, but um, very expensive. Apparently, um, it's a really, really expensive city to eat out nowadays. Hyde Park, we have one of those in London, of course. And that's St. Mary's Cathedral. Probably we have, like, I think we've got St. Mary's Cathedral in Swansea. I think the thing about um, Australia is, apart from the weather, obviously, is very reminiscent of Great Britain and a bit of this isn't very British at all that's more American so it's just that familiar look about it that makes it quite welcoming I got that same feeling when I was in Hong Kong just even the lampposts and the the street lights and the uh, the crossings were all you know British looking, or maybe they were the same ones, in fact. So we still managed to have quite a lot of green parts here, despite being a very large metropolitan area. Pretty. 
did they position it so brilliantly, didn't they? Sticking it, sort of jutting out into the harbour, with the bridge next to it. So it just appears in every photo. It was very clever, really. I wonder whose decision that was. I don't know why, but for some reason my... My guy is wearing a, a party hat and his balloons. It's not my birthday today. I don't know why he's doing it. I'm trying to work out why. No, it doesn't say. Any ideas, write me a postcard. That's the Botanic Gardens, is it? Oh, nice. But they're so central. It's the sea. No, it's the water, I should say. It's not the sea there, per se. Is it always that colour? What is Australian cuisine? See it there, it's white, it's pink in the other picture. I think people are putting filters on, they're confusing me. Drop me a comment and tell me what um what's typical Australian food. I'm not gonna say barbecue. But uh, you guys have fish and chips as well, don't you? Is it still a Friday tradition for you guys as well? I mean, it was my favourite food for such a long time. I genuinely would have it every day when I was a student, because it was so cheap as well. But now fish and chips is like 15, 20 pounds, it's ridiculous. That could be anywhere in the UK, well, apart from Cambridge or Oxford. That looks like somewhere in Scotland or Wales. Looks like such a beautiful place. So I'm going to do similar to what I do with the American videos. I'm just going to pick two or three random places. Probably I'd like to do a bit of a series, so I'll keep some of the other really big cities for next time, like Bres Brisbane. I think I said Brisbane. <laughs> Brisbane. Canberra. Melbourne. Perth. Cairns. Lincoln is a city on the Aya, Aya, is that how you say it? Peninsula in South Australia. 
It's known for its fishing industry and seafood. Nice. Axel Stenros Maritime Museum details historic seafaring with old vessels and a blacksmith's shop. Nearby, mostly surrounded by water, rugged Lincoln National Park is home to rare flora and fauna. At the edge of the city, Winter Hill Lookout has views of Port Lincoln plus surrounding islands and coves. Stunning, isn't it? The old mill lookout. Makiba, Ma Makiba Diva statue. Nautilus Art Center. Oh, wow. I was brought up by the coast, so I love the sea. When I say I love it, I don't actually like going into it. It scares me, but um, I like looking at it. I'm taking my dog for a walk. It's a very imposing jump bouncy castle, isn't it? Oh, I see it's Jurassic. The old mill. Beautiful sunset. So assuming this is South Australia, you get quite cold winters, don't you? Excuse my ignorance, your winters would be in June, July, August. So you're coming up into winter now, aren't you? Unless you're watching this, not when it's released, and then ignore that comment. Oh, bless. Cute doggy. Looks like somewhere in Greece. then a oh, little swamp. Should we go over the other coast? Carnarvon. I don't need to tell you that we have a Carnarvon in North Wales. How do you pronounce it? Probably not with as many R's as I do. Carnarvon. It is a coastal town situated approximately 900 kilometres north of Perth in Western Australia. It lies at the mouth of the Gascoyne River on the Indian Ocean. Oh wow. The popular Shark Bay World Heritage Area lies to the south of the town and the Ningaloo Reef and the popular tourist town of Exmouth lie to the north. Just looking at it... Um, is this oh there see there's an airport and that's just like there's no houses built there is it quite a small place then oh the Cascade River is like quite a sedentary river isn't it it looks very dark
good canal on. It's a gift shop. Aboriginal heritage and culture. Kun Wardumia. Canal from Vista Centre. Is that a bench? That's incredible, that's the Indian Ocean. So I'm guessing we just went to South Australia, which would be quite cold soon, but the Indian Ocean there, do you have quite a nice climate all year round? I see palm trees there, so it must get quite warm in the summer. Very different climate, isn't it? Much more arid. You can see the red earth. The fauna and flora is very different here. Someone caught that at the right time. Stunning. Oh gosh, that is huge. Can't they be quite nasty? Oh yum. Yeah, two of those please. <laughs> Telecommunications Commission. Thank you, Marco, for doing the nice uh, 360. Oh, well, I've really enjoyed this. I hope you have too. If you did, click a like and drop me a lot of comments telling me all about what it's like and the weather and what your favourite food is and if you want, I can do a little series of these and I will do more in the future. Uh, click like down the bottom, drop me a comment, subscribe at the top right here, don't forget to click that, and I'll leave a similar video in the centre for you, in case you aren't quite asleep yet. But uh, otherwise, just wanted to say thanks so much for watching, thanks for all your lovely comments and your support, 
and I'll see you guys really soon, okay?